Hello, this is Wednesday of Holy Week, and we continue our story of Jesus's journey through the week. Let's pray. Lord God, we give you thanks uh, for the gift of your presence today and always. Lord, lead us forward. Help us look to you. Help us follow what you would have us do, and not just our own desires and choices and, and imaginations. Um, help us look to you in all things. Amen. Today we have a reading uh, about Jesus' betrayal by Judas, and this is from John, the 13th chapter. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. We've moved into uh, a less pleasant part of this story of what happened to Jesus that week. This part about Judas um, you might wonder about. Uh, Judas has been, in some ways, rightly vilified uh, over the years. You, even to the point of calling someone a Judas uh, is clear. Now, it's tempting, of course, for us to think of Judas as being different and other than ourselves, um, but he was not so different. And in fact, when Jesus asked, who is it, uh, or named that one of you will betray me, they all asked, who is it? Is it me? Uh, none of them quite knew who he was referring to. Uh, Judas didn't seem that different than anyone else. Again, for us, it's tempting to think um, that Judas was different somehow, and Satan did somehow move in him, and so he certainly did something worse than, than any of the rest of them. And yet none of them were innocent in the midst of this. Very shortly, Peter will, of course, deny Jesus three times in a row. Um, the rest of them will run in fear. Uh, none of them, again, are innocent uh, fully of what happened uh, in this week and on this day, uh, in these hours, Jesus' last hours as a, as a free person and prior to his crucifixion. Now, Judas, that name Iscariot, um, people didn't have last names per se back then. Sometimes they were known as the son of their father's name. Uh, and Judas, again, is named as the son of Simon here. Um, but this name Iscariot, again, is not a name as much as a label of some sort. There's a couple of ideas of scholars over the years uh, that he was from a place and comes from Hebrew, meaning he was from Keriot, uh, a place in southern Judah. Uh, there's another thought, though, that he was a member of a group called the Sicarii. Uh, the Sicarii were like the Zealots, ones who were wanting to rebel against the Romans, were not happy about that Roman rule. And uh, the Sicarii in particular uh, were ones who, rather than confront the Romans directly, um, were assassins of a sort. And so he was the dagger man. Sicarii meant dagger. And the ones who hid these curved blades and would um, assassinate or kill uh, those among the Jewish people who were sympathetic and more working with the Romans. Uh, another, another kind of uh, revolutionary action. Um, the reason to, to bring that up and wonder about that is to wonder what Judas thought he was accomplishing through this betrayal. Uh, one is just that he was greedy and wanted those coins, but according to the other Gospels, not in John, it talks about him throwing away those coins after Jesus has been killed, uh, feeling bad about what's happened. But had he been a kind of revolutionary, uh, his hope may have been uh, to spur Jesus into action 
and uh, the rest of, of the disciples as well, to actually take some kind of action against the Romans, that Jesus might lead them uh, to a kind of uh, political freedom. And so in that case, you know, Judas uh, becomes someone who is a little more understandable and in some ways more like us. And not in the sense that we're looking to rep for revolution or to assassinate anyone, but that we want to accomplish our own goals and what we think is important in whatever way uh, we are led to do. And so again, um, Judas uh, trying to do that, instead of following Jesus, he tries to push him or lead him or, or um, spearhead the way. And again, tries to prompt that by bringing the soldiers, by making it the occasion for confrontation. And again, we look at different ways that, that we can um, accomplish what we want to um, make happen in the world. And we don't always follow God the way we should. We don't follow Jesus' lead or look to God. As Christians, we're called, as always, uh, to have a, a balance between listening to what God says to us and learning who God is, and then living it out in the world. And if we get too far ahead of Jesus, of what God is intending, uh, we will end up down the wrong path, doing the wrong thing or the right thing in the wrong way, which amounts to the same thing. So again, this bit of the story is reminding us that we are no more innocent than Ju Judas or Peter or any of the rest, but we have these ways in which we wander off from what God intends for us. Uh, our reminder for today Given the somber nature of this, uh, no song to share, uh, but let's uh, close with prayer. Lord God, we're glad that you came into the world um, to, to lead us and, and even to do what we can't do for ourselves. Lord, you endured all that we put on to you, uh, endured the betrayal of Judas, the denial of Peter, the abandonment by your friends, and, and endured the ways in which we uh, wandered down our own pathways. Uh, help us keep on looking to you as the one who can uh, lead us forward, the one who will partner with us. Help us walk with you today and always. Again, continue on. Uh, be well. Uh, the story will continue tomorrow on Maundy Thursday in a little different way. Um, 